Hey yo, Chico and Chicas, it's Kitty, and I'm finally back making YouTube videos. I think I'll be making some possibly today, tomorrow, Friday, and then next week, Monday through. Um, basically, long story short, I'm gonna be making videos up until maybe. Um, the, the 18th i think the 18th might be the last day that i make videos but um the only reason why i'm playing this new game is because um i'm not able to finish last door unfortunately which sucks because i was actually looking forward to finishing that game because it was really good but um yeah so we're just gonna play this one and hopefully it's just as good as the other game so let's do a new game and see what this is about. Wait, how do I get to the... Hold on. Okay. Did you say something, you idiot? Nothing, sir. It's just, why are we opening a new barrel of wine today? Is there an occasion? I think even someone like you will be able to understand the meaning of the words, none of your business. S Sorry, sir. I was just curious. Take that miserable curiosity of yours out with you and remember to come back early in the morning. You still haven't completed today's work. Y yes, sir. You cheap monkey poop. Uh, okay. Freaking street rat. Soon I won't even need him anymore. I can hire hundreds of competent workers for myself and buy all the things I need. And it's all thanks to a little orphan. I should prepare for tomorrow. What the? Who turned out the lights? And what happened to my barrel of wine? You should have stick to the plan, lawyer. That voice, where are you? Did you really think that with a handful of money you could slip out of our deal? I, I'm sorry, please, it's just the plan is too risky. You know me better than anyone, right? So you do know that I simply hate betrayers. Someone help me. Oh. I hope you remember this lesson in the next world. Well then, okay. Okay. The sun has risen again today. Why? Why must this miserable life continue? If something doesn't go nice today, I swear I will blow up this town. Okay. Oh, so that's me. Okay, cool. Um, I guess I talk to you. Hey, Drag, ready for another day at the rat races? Tira Lawford. Morning people like you should be sent to hell. Oh, come on. You're like this every day. Try and smile every once in a while. I will smile when all the people in the world are dead and God shoots himself in the head for creating us. Now move. I am as late. I am late as it is. Never heard a police officer say that before. Fine. It's not like I care about your miserable life anyway. Here you go, your crappiness. Alright, well, let's check out this room first. That's our king. Don't get me wrong. He's a total bitch. While the Baboa country is increasing its military, he's like, nah, they won't invade. 
I sent him a fruit basket. We'll see how it works after his own head will roll in the basket. To protect and serve the community under the rule of the king. So in short, respect the king's authority or die. The queen of this country. They say the king married her for her intelligence rather than her beauty. If that was true, then we should have supported her idea to create a ladder to the moon made of all the farming equipment. Dear Diary, my pen does not work today. <clears throat> Sincerely, Drag. <laughs> Who the hell is drunk at 7 in the morning? <clears throat> sure, why not? Anyone seen stealing off supplies will be requested not to. Bring your own lunches today as the chef has committed suicide by jumping into in the soup while laughing maniacally and saying, the key to not cry while cutting onions is to not form an emotional bond. <laughs> to protect and serve the community under the rule of the king. Okay. My word today is to settle a dispute of a land. I don't know you, so stop talking to me. In fact, I, if I knew you, even if I knew you, I'd still ask you to jump off a cliff. Hi, I am new here, and I am really excited to start this job. New, is it? Take this advice from someone who has been here five for five years in the system. Oh, really? What's that? Swim to the bottom of the sea and hold on to a rock until you drown. Trust me, it's a better peaceful method to die. Ah, Dreg, how are you today? Fantastic, Gru. I might not kill myself today, too. So same as always. Well, anyway, let me tell you your assignment for today. Some lawyer was found dead in his home earlier this morning. We suspect it was a case of murder. So it's my job to find so it's my job to find this guy and give him a medal. Very funny. Your job is to is to solve the case and arrest the criminal. Why? He's just trying to make the world a better place. Drag, stop joking. Go and do your job. Who's joking? Fine, I'll go. It's not like I have anything better to do with my day. Or my life, as a matter of fact. Dreg is a delightful character, isn't he? Jeez, <clears throat> where in the hell is my support for this case? Gru said he should be here soon. All right, everyone, please wait for some time. We will try to wrap this up as quickly as possible. But officer, we've already waited for like two hours. What do you care? Your boss is dead anyway. I still haven't done my laundry yet. All right, that's enough, ma'am. Please wait for a little while more. My god, this house is huge. Oh god, not this guy. Sorry for being late. I was helping an old lady cross the road. Was she running a cross-country race, or are you just terrible at lying? You're right, I lied. The truth is, I'm not sorry for being late. Okay. Where the hell were you? You were supposed to come two hours ago. <sighs> Never mind. We should just begin the investigation. Great. Where do we start? You should start by examining the area while I witness, question the witness, the witnesses. Also, make sure nobody touches anything. Ugh, fine, I will. But only because I'd rather not talk to that housewife. What are you talking about? I think you both would be great. Haha, -ha, very funny. All right, let's go. Alrighty then. Call me a critic if you will. 
but it feels odd seeing that this statue is placed at an angle rather than pointing at the front. It's almost as if this statue was supposed to point at something. I better remember this. Looks like a painting of this mansion. He must have been really proud of it. There are a lot of weapons around here. Why was he then killed with a simple knife? I should keep this in my mind. This fireplace is big enough for a person to come, but it's not easy to get out of the get out the same way as the chimney is too tall, and it doesn't look like a rope was used. Besides, the grate is locked tight, and it doesn't seem it can be opened from inside the fireplace. Looks like the banner was torn, and it looks like someone tried to dig a hole behind it. Why would they do that? I better remember this place. Looks like a map of this country and some of its neighbors. I wouldn't call them friendly, but like they say, you can't choose your neighbors. Wow, this statue looks so real. The rich sure know how to live. Kind of ugly, though. Other than that, nothing special about it. What is this rubble? Seems like it was you seems like it used to be something. Was this broken when the murder happened? I already checked this place. Did you? Did you really? I don't remember that. This broken barrel seems out of place in this mansion. Hmm. There are no scratch marks or anything inside. That's weird considering the damage to it. What's this? A diary? Maybe it will give me a clue if I read it. The nosy neighbor of mine is always looking through her window again. Wait, is looking through her window again. She thinks no one can see her, but I'm pretty sure everyone around here knows of her misdeeds. My assistant dropped by again today. He was asking for raise. Again. Kicked him out of the house like a ball. It's midnight now. I'm still waiting for... Hmm. Someone tore off the last page. Probably the killer. I better look for it. Aren't you supposed to look for clues? I did look for clues. I looked everywhere. I'm pretty sure I looked all over this, this, this place here. So, what are you talking about? He is currently busy talking to... Oh! Knife to the back, like the report said. There doesn't seem to be any signs of struggle. Seems like this person died around 5 a.m. at the crack of dawn. Okay. Thank you. I think that's all the clues. I should wrap this up and go home. It's time from it's time to drink my sorrow at the local tavern anyway. Did you finish collecting the evidence? Yes. Can we please go now? This mansion kind of gives me the creeps. No need, because I have already solved the case. What? Surprised? You should be. After talking to the witnesses, I have found out who the killer is. Are we really doing this? What's the matter? Scared that I will overshadow you? Alright, priest, hands in the air. You are under arrest. Well, what? Me? But why? Why would I murder him? We will know soon. As for proof, you came to meet the lawyer last evening. His neighbors here saw you entering. That's true. I saw him entering this house while I was doing the dishes from my window. Hmm. I wonder if the torn diary page is about him. I assure you, my reasons were anything but diabolical. He was studying a will for me, and he had invited me yesterday to check for its content. He even offered me his new wine from a freshly arrived barrel, but as I was in a hurry, I declined the offer and went home after finishing my business. Wine from the barrel. Was he perchance talking about the broken one? Yeah, right. We will see how things go when we take you under custody and question you. Tira is in too much of a hurry to solve this case and increase her rank. 
She is not even considering the evidence. Please wait. I can't go to jail now. I have an important matter to attend. Please think of the children. Children? Since when does a priest have kids? Stop lying and come with me now. No, please listen. <sighs> All I wanted was to go home and drink until I drop. But like always, the world just finds new ways to screw me over. The priest is innocent. Sorry, Tira, but your assumption is wrong. What? Since when do you care about this stuff? Ever since you started acting like an amateur... Amateur, sorry. All right then, smarty grumpy. Let's see who is right and who is wrong. And if I win, you're buying me dinner. Joke's on you, I have no money. You son of a... All right then. If you know the priest is innocent, prove it. Sure, but I'll need to talk to the witnesses. Great. That's great. Oh boy. This is a pretty good game so far. I like the characters. They're pretty cool. You have a health bar of five points. You will have to select the proper response in, every, in each conversation to proceed. Failing five times, you result in game over. Keep an eye on the hearts on the upper left corner of the screen to see how many chances you have left. Save the game? Yes. Remember, you can fast forward the text by holding the page down button. Use it if you already read the dialogue. Okay, cool. Good day, officer. Trust me, nothing is good about today. Anyways, what is your job? I'm his assistant. My job was to do the minor and or tedious work, which would be which which would just be a waste of his time. That's how he described it anyway. So I guess you weren't happy? Obviously. But that doesn't mean I murdered him. Even though I did dream about it a couple of times. That's a dangerous thing to say in front of a police officer, don't you think? It's because unlike that lady there, you don't look like the type of person to jump to conclusions based on just guesses. Seems like you had a tough time. Why didn't you just quit your job then? And what? Starve to death? Getting a new job in this economy is tough. Is that why you asked for a raise? Oh, how did you know? It's written in his diary. In fact, he mentions he kicked you out like a ball. That slimy bat. It's true. I did ask him for a raise, and he also kicked me out for asking. But I did not murder him. Why should I believe you? Because I would be out of a job if he died. In fact, that's my current situation. He was a tool, but I needed the job. Why would I kill my only source of income? What he said does make sense. Besides, during the time of the murder, I was completing some paperwork in my own home for those statues. Statues? Wait, hold your horses. Statues? You mean he had bought more than one? Yes, I am guessing they are the ones standing in the room currently. Now, hold on, I have the paperwork to prove it. The two angel statues were bought by Mr. Aaronville and are now a legal property of his. This document is a proof of purchase. Wait, two angels? Thank you for listening to my pleas. The young lady there almost arrested me. Don't get me wrong, old man. You are still under suspicion. I just want to clear some things before the rest is done. Very well. I will try to answer your questions as clearly as possible. You mentioned a will. What were the contents and how was the lawyer involved? Our church's benefactor recently passed away. As his trusted friend, he had passed his will down to me. I couldn't quite understand the details, hence I hired Mr. Aaron Bill to explain the details to me. He invited me yesterday to tell me about it. 
And I, I can't say the details. If news spread of this will, it will cause problems for the people involved. You do realize the position you are in, right? I am sorry. Please try to understand. It is a grave matter which I cannot speak openly about. Hmm. I don't think he will tell me everything yet. I will need to wait for the proper chance. You mentioned a barrel of wine. Specifically a new one. Hmm. Yes, I did. The barrel was brand and was brand new and he invited me to open its seal. However, after hearing the details of the will, I immediately went home. You say he never opened it. Then why is the barrel in tatters and no wine on the floor? I don't know. He probably opened it after I left. So he says, but then why was there a need to open the wine for this? Usually, usually, it is drank for special occasions only. You were telling us to think of the children when Tyria was about to rescue. May I know why? Ah, uh, yes. Our church is our bleh, our church also has an orphanage where we take care of children who lost their family and have no one to care for. It is one of the reasons why our benefactor decided to help us. Benefactor? Will? Children? I think I figured out what the old priest is hiding. I think I now know what this is all about. Excuse me? I am saying I have figured out the truth you are hiding. Let's start with the will. I can guess what the will was about, uh, priest. Um, inheritance? The will contained matter pertaining to his inheritance. I, I don't know what you are on about. The reason you wanted to return the children to return to the church was to protect children, or should I say, a specific child. Ugh. I know this country and its people. There is no one here that kind and rich to help some orphans. The only answer that remains is. Your benefactor had an illegitimate child, and that child is currently in your orphanage. That's not true. These are just a delusion, sir. When you bought the will to, to Evil, he, he immediately found out of this. Greedy as he was, he tried to uh, take advantage of the situation by... No, that wouldn't be... Aw, oh, damn it. All he needed to do was adopt, a, was adopt the child. Then by being the child's guardian, parent, and lawyer, he would be in control of everything. Which would also explain why he would celebrate by drinking wine. What do you say about this? Incredible. You seem to have found out everything. It is as you say. The wretch asked me to prepare for adoption. Obviously, I declined and left the place. I just wanted to protect the child. But I did not kill Dr. I mean, <laughs> Mr. Ville. Though I am thankful to whoever did this. I never thought I would see the day where a priest would thank a murderer. The killer protected the, the child while destroying some evil. And for that, I am thankful. I guess that makes the two of us. The truth finally came to light. But it doesn't answer the question, who killed the lawyer? Alrighty then. I have to be careful now because I have four hearts left, so I have to be very careful. What are we still waiting for? It's obvious the priest did it. I need to go home as it is. Trust me, lady, I don't want to talk to you either, but it's a part of my job, so let's just get this over with. How rude. I already said the priest was responsible. I saw him entering the mansion in the evening. Sheesh. How long are you planning on lying? Oh yeah? Do you have any proof I'm lying? Yes. First is your face. The second proof is... Did you know that the lawyer had a diary? It mentions it about his whole day. So? 
there are two things mentioned here. First, he knew you were keeping an eye on him. In fact, according to the diary, everyone in the neighborhood knew. What? But that's how? And the second is, nobody came to meet him until after midnight. So your testimony is false. Ugh. No, but I did saw someone. But I did see someone. Who typed this? Huh? It's true that I kept an eye on him. But the reason I that he the reason he oh my god, the reason was that he once hit our dog for trespassing into his property. He almost broke the poor pup's leg. It was a bad experience for my whole family. Ever since then I kept a close eye out for the safety of my dog and family. But then why did you lie? Why blame the priest? I did see someone enter the mansion in the evening. The person was wearing clothing similar to the priest and the officer there that confirmed he visited yesterday. So someone in the priest's clothing entered the premises in the evening. But then why wasn't it mentioned in the diary? Anything else you can tell me? Anything can be useful. Even the most smallest detail. Well, ah, around dawn, I heard sounds of something breaking. Breaking? The first sound like some wood breaking. The noise was loud enough to wake me up. The second came sometime later. It sounded like something shattering, like a vase. And you didn't hear any screams or anything? No, surprisingly not. But later I did hear some digging. And before I forget, one more thing caught my eye. And that is? The sounds were indeed strange, so some people, me included, went to look. And it was then we found the body. But the weird thing was, all the doors were locked from the inside. I don't know how the criminal escaped. No signs of breaking and entering. Loud noises heard with no screams. And no sign of the criminal escape route. Lady... I think I know what happened. What? There is no sign of breaking and entering because... The criminal went through the front door, pretended to leave after visiting the lawyer, and hid somewhere in the mansion. And when the time seemed right, the killer attacked and killed the lawyer. What? But where would he have hid himself? You said you heard a noise of wood breaking, so the place... Where he was hiding is, there is a broken barrel with no wine inside. It is safe to presume that the killer was hiding inside it. Yes, that could make sense, but if it is true, then the killer could have been inside the house for days. Which could, com which could have complicated the case. But you have mentioned a, l a visitor in the evening. It's likely that the same person is responsible. That person knew the priest was going to meet him, and also knew of your watching over the Lord because of the diary. So he disguised himself as a priest in order to fool you. However, later, the, the real priest came and the killer had to wait until dawn to kill him. That's unbelievable. But if that's true, then the, Lord, then the killer had access to the lawyer's diary. Exactly. That means the killer was someone close to the lawyer. But who? I think that's all the witnesses. Now to crack this case wide open. The finale of the game. That quick. Really? Okay. I don't know how to get to the O. Oh, okay. Oops. Um... Badge of the sub inspector's clock, okay, that's not, okay. The knife was lodged in the, on the lawyer's back, matches the wounds. Strange rubble was found in the murder place. It seems to be, it seems to use, it seems it used to be something. A statue which feels misplaced or moved, no clear info currently available. The diary lists the nosy neighbor and the greedy assistant. Someone tore off the last page of the of his day. 
He says the lawyer planned to adopt a child for his inheritance. Barrel was still sealed when he left. It seems the wine barrel was a setup to hide the killer till the chance for murder arrived. He was legalizing a purchase document when the murder took place. Killing the lawyer would only harm him. Killed around 5 a.m. at the crack of dawn, multiple knife wounds on the back. This guy had more weapons than the army due to some reason they were not used for the murder. It looks like someone tried to dig a hole behind this, behind the banner. The reason is unknown. Lockton currently seems impossible for injury. A will which gives inheritance rights to an orphan child, which is the church's benefactor, Ill- illegitimate child. Heard noises at dawn also claims to saw a person entering in the previous evening. Angel statues were bought recently, and this document proves it so. Wait. Okay. A lawyer by the name of Aaron Ville or E. Ville was killed at his home at 5 a.m. Go to his house and investigate. The queen of this country, her IQ is lower than the number of times Dreg has smiled. Victim of the case was stabbed to death. Wait, was stabbed in the back multiple times. Karma can be scary sometimes. The neighbor of the lawyer, she seems angry and will probably kill me if I cross her. Worshipper of God, it looks like he could die any second if I took my eyes off him. The king of the country, Rydia, voted as the most easy king to assassinate. Another officer who works along drag, she likes to pick on drag for fun. Dreg's boss and one of the few people Dreg can stand. Can't say the same for Gru's four ex-wives. The lawyer's assistant, although from his though from his looks, an errand boy is more a suitable term. Okay. The place where Dreg lives, it looks like a hotel for cops with no place to go. The dead lawyer's abode. How many people's lives did he destroy to build this? The main station where all the work is done. I use the word, I use the term work loosely. Is done also is used, is also used loosely. Okay. So did you finish talking to the witnesses? Tiring as it was, yes. Really? Then why don't you start by telling us whether I was right or wrong about the priest? You were wrong. You are still doubting me. I won't take this from all you people. From you of all people. Just now you told me that the lawyer was trying to ad- trying to take over some inheritance by adopting a child. If so, then the priest, although in good intention, attacked and killed the lawyer. That would have been true, if not for the for these two clues that clashes each other. Which ones? Um. Damn it. Okay, hold on, wait. What the hell? here.
what is the first thing you see when you look around? A big mansion with lots of things. What of it? Weapons, Tira. Lots of it simply lying around. Lots of them? What? It seems you finally got through your thick skull. The priest learned about the lawyer's evil intentions after midnight. He did not have the le had the he did not have the leisure to return back and get a knife. If you really wanted to murder the lawyer, the priest could have used any of the weapons around here. Also, if he didn't want people to suspect him, he would have simply not shown himself today, and we would have blindly searched for the for a priest with no real evidence. All right, I can think that I can think that as possible, but that means. This woman gave us false testimony. What? N no, I had no reason to lie. That would have been true. If you weren't the killer. She is not lying, Tira. What? She can't be the murderer because. Uh, tell me something, Tira. Would you let me in through the front door if I came to your house? I won't even let you step place anywhere near my neighborhood. Don't worry, I don't want to go there anyway. My point is, the lawyer had bad and had bad relationship with his lawyers after a certain incident. His neighbors after a certain incident. Lee, really? what sort of incident? Apparently, he heard a puppy dog belonging to this neighbor. Tell me, would you let the neighbors who are obviously angry at you in? Hold on. Since when had we established that the killer came through the door? The people who found the body had to break open the door, and there doesn't seem to be any sign of breaking and entering at all. In short, this could be described as a locked room murder. Ugh. This case is getting more and more confusing by the minute. But that only leaves the assistant, then. I already testified that I had more to lose by killing him. Besides... I do have proof and witnesses to verify my location at the time of the murder. What the hell? This doesn't make sense. Where is the killer? I swear when I find him, I will personally kick his ass to jail. Tira, the killer is in this room. What? H hold on. Are you suspecting me? I swear I will kick your ass if you do. Calm down. It's not you. What I'm saying is... The killer simply never left. What? After committing the murder, people immediately came to his house after hearing a certain noise. The sound of something breaking like a vase. This was a mistake made by the killer. So he killed. So he hid himself till the racket cooled down. But that means that the person is still hiding in here as we speak. You checked the area yourself, didn't you? Find anyone? Suddenly, I don't feel safe anymore. I couldn't find the killer because some clues were yet to, to be found. The first was. Um. And my second clue was, no, that wasn't it. Dang it, the diary, the diary, right? What? How the hell wasn't that it? That doesn't make sense. What? Okay, so do I have to start all this over? Do I have to start all this over? I hope I don't. Ugh. I have to do all this over. That's that's great. Okay. I'm not reading all this again. Okay. 
Okay, I couldn't find the killer because some clues were yet to be found. The first was... And my second clue was... So what the document... So what? The document mentions two statues that the lawyer bought and the assistant was working on the paperwork. Yes, the document says statues, two angel statues... Combine those with the sound of the neighbor, the sound the neighbor heard, and you will find your killer's location. This is it. Now all I need to do is walk to the criminal and talk to him or her. So I think it's this one. No, 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 it's this one. Will you please stop hiding and come out now? Dre, you are talking to a statue. This lady won't. So you realized it too. The document mentioned two angel statues. And this lady in front of us is definitely no angel. Add to the fact the shattering noise in the neighborhood. It proves that the sound was not of glass breaking, but... The angel statue standing here, which was made of porcelain. Everybody step back. Well done. It seems my secret has been revealed. So the culprit finally revealed herself. I must admit, you really knew how to hide yourself. My, my. I didn't expect anyone from this country to have a brain. It seems my intel was wrong about it. This country? You are a spy. What is your purpose here? Tear, wait. We need to capture her first. Well, oh, okay. Sorry, Grandma. Not happening today. How can she move so fast? This woman looks like she was trained to kill. Going head, going head on will only cause unnecessary deaths. Tira, let her go. We can't take her alone. What? Stop joking. She is right there. My, my. You should listen to your friend there, since I can kill you all before you can even blink. Fine, but remember my words. I will kick your ass to jail. Oh, really? Then until we meet again. Wait! Before you go, who are you and why did you kill the lawyer? Oh, still fixated on that, are we? The only thing you should know is, I simply hate betrayers. I was right. This woman was close to the lawyer. You are Lady Eva, aren't you? I saw you come and go a couple of times. Wait, you know this woman? That was simply a ruse to fool commoners like yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me. Damn it. I never felt so helpless in my life before. There was nothing we could do. This is a matter related to the army. The best we could do now is report this to higher ups and hope this will all be over soon. I swear. I will track down that woman, even if it's the last thing I do.
Well, well. It seems you two had quite an adventure. We found the fake priest clothes in the whole dreg mansion. Since his meeting with the spy, evil was supposed to be a secret. He didn't write it down in his diary. Evil purposely tore the last page to confuse us about the timing of the priest's entry. I still don't like how this ended. Speak for yourself. I am quite happy with this. How can you even say that? Don't you have any pride? Somewhere along the road, I must have given you the impression that I cared about it. And for that, I apologize. Now, now, calm down, you two. You did a decent job, and best of all, there were no casualties. I guess you're right. That's better. Now go home and get some rest. We have a busy schedule tomorrow. Meanwhile, I will look into this Eva person and connect in her connection to the traitor or dead lawyer. I should be going home as well. I need some rest after the ordeal today. Oh, and Drag. Yes. Thanks. If it wasn't for you, I would have arrested an innocent man or else would have died due to my hot headedness. That's okay. You probably would have done the same for me. Nope. Hey, wait. You lost the bed. You were supposed to treat me to dinner. <sighs> another day, another life ended today. Is there really anything to live for in this miserable world? And we're done. So um, that means tomorrow we'll be doing episode two. I'm not sure what how many episodes this game is. I think it's like maybe four. I'm not really sure, but I guess we'll be playing episode two tomorrow. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay sweet and gold loves. Bye-bye.